Hi, good morning. Today is the 13th of August and this week we are meditating on Proverbs chapter 15 and I would like to read today verse 4. The soothing tongue is a tree of life but a, per a perverse tongue crushes the spirit. Where have we seen this tree of life? We have seen a tree of life in Genesis and the men lost the access to that tree of life because of the fall, because of sin. But then through redemption, we will find it again in Revelation. The access to the tree of life is going to be open again through Jesus Christ. And then now your words will become like a tree of life as well. And a word like that, that will come from a mouth that is filled with God's grace is going to be soothing. It's going to be kind. It's going to be full of hope. And then we'll see at the end of this meditation that it's going to be full of love. We have an amazing text in 1 Peter chapter 3, 3 to 4, that says this, Your beauty should not come from out, outward adornment such as elaborate hairstyles and wearing of gold jewelry or fine clothes. Rather, it should be that of your inner self, the unfading beauty of a gentle and quiet spirit, which is of great worth in God's sight. God is not against beauty. I know that being from Brazil, that... Uh, uh, what you wear is extremely important here in France as well, and also in Africa, and I guess everywhere. But he's saying that there is one way of uh, an adorn adornment that is even more important than the exterior, the, the, the one, the external one, is the one of your heart. He's calling this one inner self, the unfading beauty of a gentle and quiet spirit. That is the tree of life. The tree of life here is this inner self that has been transformed by redemption. And now you can share life. How can one share life if we don't have life? We are talking here about the life eternal that is from Jesus, that actually is Jesus. It is Jesus. Jesus said, I am life. When he said, I am the way as well, and, and I am the truth. And of course, a spirit that has been transformed by eternal life is going to be gentle. And, and, and it is going to uh, express the gentleness is going to show the gentleness that is in God himself. You can have the faith to say to a mountain, I live here in the Basque coast, and from our house we see this mountain that is sacred, that it is so important to the Basque people, that is called La Rune, and it is by, it's, it's very, not very far from the Atlantic Ocean. We have a huge view from there. You can imagine if someone had faith to say to that mountain, Throw yourself into the sea, into the Bay of Biscay. And Paul says that even though you have faith like that, if you haven't got the love of God, you are nobody. You see, it is the love of God. That's what Paul is saying to 2 Timothy 1.13. What you heard from me, keep as the pattern of sound teaching with faith, and the love in Christ Jesus. The words that came out of my mouth, they are in Christ Jesus, and they are with faith, but also with agape, with love. And if there is no love, there is no tree of life. Our words are not going to be soothing if there is no love in us. All you need is love, God's love. 